Welcome to the video tutorial of GreenCloud VPS. Today, we will show you how to fix HTTP error 403.14, Forbidden in Internet Information Services, IIS. The HTTP error 403.14, Forbidden is displayed when you try to access a website hosted on IIS with detailed errors enabled. As you can see on the screen, the error page says the web server is configured not to list the contents of this directory and also indicates the most likely causes of this error. According to the detailed error page, three likely causes of this issue are, directory browsing is not enabled, the default document is not configured, and the ASP.NET feature is not installed on the server. We covered the possible causes of this error in the previous section. Depending on your situation, you could try the following steps to resolve this error. Open the IIS Manager and select your website. Double-click on the Directory Browsing option in the IIS section of the Feature View. Then, click Enable in the Actions pane on the right side. After that, try accessing your website again. If your website uses a traditional framework and you see a file with a name such as default.aspx, index.html, or index.php in the website's root directory, make sure the same file name is also available in the list of default documents. You could even ask the developer about the name of the default document for your website. For instance, we know that our website is supposed to use home.html as the default document. Therefore, we will add it either using the IIS manager or the web config file. After that, try accessing your website again. If none of the above solutions works, your website is likely using MVC or a similar technology that requires the ASP.NET development feature on the server, which is not currently installed. This error commonly occurs when you try to host an MVC website on a web server for the first time. To install ASP.NET, use the following PowerShell command. This command installs ASP.NET 4.5 or higher on the web server, and your MVC website will start working. After that, try accessing your website again.